So, people, I just came from this uh, thrift store called... Excuse the background noise. The fucking sink is very loud. I just came from this thrift store called Second Avenue. It's on Eastern Avenue. Is that Eastern Avenue? Yeah, in Essex. In Essex, Maryland. That's where I was at. And I just want to say, this. I can't believe how expensive this thrift store is. Now, mind you, this thrift store is not in no place that's posh. This ain't no, no, no ritzy looking place. No, this is, in my opinion, this is the head. This is this the hood. This the ghetto. But um, this this thrift store is way too expensive. As I'm going through, uh, the aisles. First of all, they have plus size clothes, but they don't have any tags like. Uh, uh, a place for plus size clothes they're just all mixed up in the extra large section even though they're 2x 3x etc or 22 24 you have to hunt through all of the clothes just to find a plus size dress or pants or whatever the fact is they have like a hundred people working in the fucking store they got time to separate that out and like give the plus size a section. I mean, if you're going to charge so much money. Not only do they charge a lot, I was looking through the clothes and I found a shirt <coughs> <coughs> that still had the tag from a store on it. The shirt was $3.99. Their price was $4.99. If you understand what I'm saying, like you're charging people extra money for shit that you got for free. I just don't understand this. Now, I found some cute dresses in there after I searched high and low. Uh, the dresses were $10 a piece. One of them was $13 or something like that. Or $12. $12.99 something like that. $11.99. And um, I had a problem with that. I felt like that was too expensive for clothes that someone else has already worn before. And gave it to y'all for free. Now... Hey, I respect everybody's hustle for the most part. But when you go to a thrift store, they should expect people to want to haggle. This is like a flea market. I've been to a lot of thrift stores, and I know that you can haggle. But they refuse to haggle, okay? I bought three dresses, um, and I, I called the manager over, and I said, I want to get these dresses for $7 a piece because, hey, nothing beats a failure but a try. So she's like, let me take it to the back and see. I don't know who you have to ask in the back, but um, I thought you were the manager. So she comes back and she says, uh, well, no, we're not going to be able to give you um, anything off on these brands. First of all, one of the dresses was from Fashion Bug. And y'all know Fashion Bug, does that even exist anymore? I haven't seen that anywhere. Fashion Bug, the other one was uh, uh, something, I don't know, but... I don't know the brands or whatever, but these dresses wouldn't cost even $10 in the actual store at this point in time because they probably like from 10 hundred seasons ago. But my point is, this is a thrift store in an area that is not even ritzy. Like, if someone wants to haggle, they want to buy three dresses and they want you to give them some t some price some some money off you're supposed to do it this is a fucking thrift store i just couldn't believe that so much stuff in that store was so expensive and the area that it's in and the fact that they got the stuff for free like people do not fall for this shit you could buy new clothes for that amount of money you can get new dresses forever 21 fucking you can even find nice dresses in walmart you can find nice dresses at i found nice dresses at family uh family dollar that's a family dollar up there, right? No, Dollar General, okay? Even Dollar General has nice dresses. I found a few dresses from there for five freaking dollars. And they, they look really cute on, plus size dresses. Do not fall for these thrift stores. Second, Second Avenue, you guys need to wake up. Y'all have all those employees in there. Y'all need to get that store straight. Not only do y'all have a lot of employees in there, they seem to have attitude problem like... What's wrong with y'all? You should just be happy that you have a job. Because in this economy, you need a job to survive. So if you're going to be a smart ass, you ain't going to be working long. Because people don't take your... Nobody ain't taking nobody's shit these days. So that's just what all I'm going to say about um, 2nd Avenue in, Eastern, in um, Essex, Maryland. Or Eastern Avenue, I think. Is Eastern Avenue? Back 
Back, re back River Neck Road, okay? That place is expensive. So if you're ready to spend your hard-earned money on other people's shit that they have uh, donated, then you go there. Spend up your money because that's what's going to happen. And that's it. All right, bye.